what the queen's gambit on netflix has been taking over i am a big fan of anya taylor joy i first saw her in peaky blinders um, where she came in in one of the later seasons and was gorgeous. So today I am doing a makeup look inspired by her character Beth in The Queen's Gambit and was really excited to kind of play around with this color palette. I think the show does such an excellent job with creating this old school atmosphere with their color grading. So I'm really excited to share this with you today. If you want to see the final look and how this is put together, stick around because we're about to get started. I have prepped my face already. Today I used the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. If you want to know more about how I prep my face for makeup, I have a separate video super quick that I will link up above. But now I'm going to go ahead and get started with foundation. So Beth, the character, has a bit lighter skin, so I'm going in with my winter shade of the L'Oreal, oops, probably shouldn't block it, of this L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear. And I'm going to just put it directly, do like a pump and a half directly here and kind of dot the product, do some quick swipes to start and blend this all in. Uh, pro tip for this, if you do decide to do a turtleneck outfit like she does wear in some of the promo images, I suggest putting that on before you do your makeup because it is almost impossible to put a turtleneck on without messing up your makeup. And like I mentioned before, she does have a lighter complexion, so I'm gonna be a little bit more generous with the concealer that I use for my under eye. So this, this is a shade lighter than my foundation. Normally I put this on my under eye. I am going to be kind of generous where I put this today and not wipe it off because she really does have this like pale, Kind of all one color look. So I get this in the center of the face where I normally have it, but use a bit more on the under eye. And I am going to use a sponge. Let's pat that in. And this is a dry sponge. So the concealer I'm using is pretty like liquid or, or blendable, so I don't wet the makeup sponge too much and I want to get around my whole eye but just be very gentle here and just kind of press in and kind of use that to prep the eyelid too. If you have a creamier concealer I might recommend using a wet or damp sponge. She has a very dramatic lip shape so we may do some interesting lining. So I'm going to go back around the lip kind of close it and make a less harsh natural lip line. She does have dark and brunette brows luckily so I'm using my elf brow pencil. I'm going to start by brushing up my own hair just so I know where I need to fill in. And she's got kind of a straight rectangular brow so I'm going to start here in the center. out to here and then do a little bit and it comes down the eye should be grim so get that get all the lines that you want and keep it kind of squared out here don't worry about them being messy because we're gonna spoolie it out it does have almost like a thick boyish brow I'm not really gonna go over it with. Yeah. Because this is a bit more of a vintage look, everything's a bit matte and set. So before I do anything else with my face, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and my RCMA powder, shake this up, and I'm going to set my under eye and my T-zone. So we'll just really gently replace any other product. You want to kind of keep the center area, like all one color. So the eye look is really not very 
strong for this. It's a big, uh, kind of like a bold eyeliner, but nothing too aggressive. So I'm just going to do a little bit of definition in the crease and I'm going to take just a medium tone brown from the e.l.f. palette. So I'm going to be using actually a pencil brush and use this to draw in the crease. It's going to look a bit much, but we are going to blend it out. And she's got almost more of like a pink complexion. So when I'm choosing a brown, because uh, she's redhead, I'm choosing a warmer brown. And then I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend this out so you can't really, so it's not defined at all. It's just gonna be more of a subtle shadow. And then I'm going to take a flat brush and choose a really, this is a pinky beige matte shade. And I'm just gonna put that on my lid and under my eyebrow. So really what we're kind of doing here is giving the eye a little bit of a contour, but most of this look is going to come from how we do the eyeliner. But using powder products and matte powder products will help us get that old school vintage look. So for the next part of this, I'm going to be doing her eyeliner. I'm going to be using a dark brown. Um, the character does have a black one. This is the Wet n Wild Waterproof. I think they've changed it now to be a pen, uh, but it's pretty much the same applicator. I'm gonna be taking off the excess here so it doesn't get goopy. I have not done this in a while. So when we're doing the eyeliner, we're gonna start thin and work our way out. There's not too much of a wing on this look. It's just kind of like a really nice graphic, maybe look but it helps to look downward into the mirror a little bit because that's gonna help you stay true to your lash line so we're gonna start really really thin in the middle or sorry like towards the inner eye we're gonna start really thin and I'm holding the felt tip downwards I'm gonna start with a thin line first See where I'm going with this. Now I'm just gonna draw this pretty much in. And we just want the eye to look nice and big, so we're focusing on this outer third. I think everyone has a harder eye to do. This left is definitely the harder. Same thing, you're just gonna wipe off the excess onto a tissue or a cotton. All right, we're gonna see how this goes because I have to go like this way pretty much. Ugh, I don't know how to do this. So for my left eye, I'm gonna start on the outside. I'm still gonna start it thin, so I'm just staying on the lash line. Turn this around to get the inner part. It also helps when you're applying a liquid to kind of um, use your cheek as like a base. So you can put your cheek, your like hand here, and then it's only your fingers moving instead of like this. So when you're getting to that inner corner eye, and that will help. All right, now we're gonna extend this. Just a tad. and get that nice big shape there. And I'm gonna see, make sure that these are even. Oh, a little bit there. There we are. All right, so that is her very large eyeliner. Got that part done, whew. 
So I think it's really with her bottom liner that they create this like very doughy eye or um, even like a bug kind of eye. So what I'm doing next is I am taking this kind of beige under eye highlight color. So this is from Pacifica, which is a vegan brand. I think everything they do is vegan. And I'm going to do the inner corner and I'm going to do my lower waterline with this. This product is a little bit chalky, so I like to go in lighter with it. And to get the waterline, we're just gonna pull down a little bit. Very gently follow that waterline. Dip there and follow this all the way around here. And then outside of this waterline, they have on her some brown. So the next time I'm taking a number seven brown pencil. It's a pretty light taupey gray shade. And I'm going to very, very lightly because this will deposit a lot of color. We're gonna go on the outer third and really accentuate almost like the natural eye bag that you might have and you want to make it very round as a shape. I'm going to blend this in so do not, I'm doing tiny tiny little strokes here. I'm going to blend this out and round it out and I am going to use a pencil brush just kind of like wipe it clean and blend this. You want a lot of the weight to be on the outer eye here. And all of the lightness to be on the inner eye. And I'm gonna go back in with this white color and go a little bit below where I've just blended in. She's got it really, really highlighted here in the middle, so we're gonna accentuate that part a lot. I'm not going to use mascara on this. Mascara doesn't seem to be a big part of the look. That being said, we do wanna like lift the eye up as much as we can, just gonna curl it. So that's gonna be the eye. The other key part of this look is really the lip color and the lip shape that she has. So for this, I'm using kind of one of my favorite burnt reds. This is MAC in Marrakesh. I'm going to start by lining my lips with Whirl by MAC. So I really want to exaggerate my natural, uh, the point of my lips. And that. And then we're going to just underline the rest of the top of the lip. So at that M part of your lip, your cupid's bow, you want to go right above your natural line. Here you want to go right under your natural line. And then it's a pretty full lower lip, so we're going to follow it true here. corners and a little of a generous line underneath. So creating that lip line is going to help keep the lipstick in place. It's also going to help you know where to apply your lipstick. I'm going to start up at the top and we can blend outward so I'm focused on the middle. If you do have any lip brushes, this would be a good time to use one of those. You want to take a step back and just see if there's any parts of the lip that might need to be like balanced out and we can correct anything. If you went over it, don't worry, you can fix it like a concealer. Let's do a second layer of that bottom lip so it looks the same. And it, her cheek color does seem to kind of match that lip color. So what I'm going to do is get kind of two swipes 
of this Marrakesh lipstick and we're gonna blend it out. I'm gonna use my fourth finger because that's clean. Follow the cheekbone. She almost looks like she's not wearing blush, but she was just like outside, like nothing. Now, if you really wanna make this lip dramatic, I'm gonna take this e.l.f. foundation brush and some concealer and kind of go around the lip that you've just drawn with this concealer brush or foundation brush and concealer to make that line look real clean. All right, so that is almost it. The last thing I'm gonna do is take a little tiny bit of bronzer and place it just right here under that blush. Give yourself a little bit of a shape on that lip, or shape on your cheek. And that's pretty much it. This is a very matte look, so I'm not gonna go in with highlighter. This is the final look with my hair. And let's try it with her hair. Whew. It's too bad. Halloween is over. This wig is so thick. What have you found? She thick. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. For all of you who are subscribed already, thanks so much for doing that and tuning into these videos. Anyone else, thank you for spending your time here with me today. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you have any comments, questions, or requests, please let me know. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for today, and have a wonderful rest of your day.